this video is to go over building Java programs, exercise 17, that's the chapter on binary trees, and uh, this is count left nodes. And I'll warn you up front that because this is an exercise, I'm not going to give you the full code, but I will uh, give you a lot of hints on how you can do it. So this is a bit of an unusual problem, uh, so we're supposed to count the left nodes. I'll get to that in just a second. Before I uh, go over this problem, I'm going to suggest that if you haven't already, please watch my video on the self-check 1711. Now I give the full code for that one. This one is uh, counting up the number of elements in this binary tree, and it relates somewhat, and I'm going to refer back to it. So make sure you know how to do that one first. So uh, unlike the size, where we're counting up every element, now we're going to restrict ourselves to only certain elements. They call these left children, or left nodes, and it's a bit of an odd duck. So I was thinking left nodes would probably be just these guys off at the end on, on the left, but that's not. It's it's actually anything that is a child of uh, a left child. So in this case, this guy here is the left child of this guy, so that makes it a left node. This guy is a left child of this guy, so that makes it a left node. This guy and, and this guy the same way. This guy, because it's not the left child of anything, it is not a left node. Same here, because there's no left child, there's no left node. And this one, even though it's the root, because it's not a left child of something else, it's not uh, a left node. So we just have this one, this one, this one, and this one. So there's only four left children in this. Now, just like in uh, the self-check 1711, we are writing recursive code, and it's a member function, so it's not going to take any parameters to start. We are going to need a helper function in order to be able to effectively recurse. So um, you're going to call the helper, and you're just going to do that the same way you did in 1711. And the recursive case, just like in 1711, well, there's going to be a base case when we're done. And there's going to be a recursive case. But the recursive case is a little bit trickier. We'll get to that in a second. So first of all, what is the base case when we're done? It, in the size, it was when we had recursed down until there was it was null. There was absolutely nothing left. And the same, same situation goes here. When we finally get down to, uh, down to a null, uh, whether it be on the left or the right, that's going to be um, nothing left. OK, so I'll just say that null. Um, I'll just leave it as null, okay? It's the same way you did it in 1711. Now for the recursive case, we remember we're only looking for uh, left children, right? So it's so correct. So we have to evaluate whether we have a left child. And only in the case where there's a left child are we going to add it. So we, we need two recursive cases. So this is a recursive case for a left child. And we also need a recursive case not a left child. So what's the difference? Well, the difference, there's two differences. One, how do you detect it? And then two, what do you do about it? So I'll list that for both. I'll list, list the detect and an action. Okay, so how do you detect a left child? Well, that means that the tree.left is, uh, not, is not null. So there's something on the left-hand side. Okay, otherwise it's just going to be the else, right? What do you do if there's an, for the action for the left child? Well, you have to return, similar to 1711, you got to return one plus recurse. Otherwise, here you just return, I'll just put recurse. Okay, so you're going to return one plus the recursion, recursion on the left plus the recursion on the right. Otherwise, you just recurse, return the recursion on the left and the right and hope that later you get a left child. So that's that's the full SOTO code right there. You've got three uh, recur uh, cases to evaluate here, and most of what you need to do here you've seen in self-check 1711. All right, so let's review what have we learned here. Um, so first of all, there's this odd duck description of what a left node is. That's not super important. In fact, I've never heard of it before. Um, but what we have done is we've extended the learning we did in 1711 to travel the entire tree and to add up each node. Now we're being selective. We're not adding up each node. We're, we're adding up only certain nodes, in this case, the ones that have a left child. And we've shown you, the, we've gone over the code. How do you determine if there's a left child? You could just as easily write it for the right child. You could just as easily write it for 
nodes that have both a left child and a right child, you just have to change that, that detection case down here. Instead of checking whether the left tree is not null, you could, for example, detect um, whether it has, uh, I don't know what you call it, you know, <laughs> two kids, double income, no kids or something. So uh, we would just check if left is not null and the right is not null. Then we would add one plus and then recurse. So you can see lots of different ways that that could be applied. So, um, but the 1711 base case still applies. And so you can see that a lot of these are going to be the same. So that's it. I'm not going to show you any more code, but I believe you should be able to write this from there. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe.